Hey folks, the Desert Artist here. You know, a lot of people ask me, well, I shouldn't say a lot, but a few people ask me. You know, I don't hang out with a lot of people. So, they ask me, Todd, why'd you become a Christian? Well, <clears throat> uh, and not a member of any kind of special church. Well, I, I believe I became a Christian because, uh, well, it was the right way to to go. I mean, uh, I, if I look at all the religions, I think the one I was closest to, um, was probably, uh, the Native American religion, which is kind of more along the spiritual lines. And, uh, when I started thinking, you know, the Great Spirit, you know, that's basically the same as God and you know, this, this book called the Holy Bible wouldn't have been around for for as long as it is for no reason. I mean, the Jews have it. The, the Quran has part of the Bible in it. They, all these people <clears throat> have the same book. And I chose to be a follower of Jesus Christ because he was the uh, iconic symbol in which we are supposed to be the way that we are meant to be to follow the word of God I what what and uh, you know make him walk him and not become a Muslim well you know I choose not to be Muslim because well it was explained to me that uh, there's worldly things and there's godly things and, well, when you die and you go to heaven and you experience these 72 virgins, supposedly, well, that's a pretty worldly experience. I mean, I figure, great, you get to go up and you have a 72 day supply of, of, of women that are untrained, I guess. I, <clears throat> I don't know. But to me, it seems more worldly than godly. You know, uh, there's more to people than having a sexual attraction. There's there's an intellectual attraction that, that a lot of people should have. And a learning attraction of how to make themselves a better person through using techniques which is perception that's not your own that allows you to understand what other people see of you well as I've came to know the Lord it seems to be speaking to me more because I'm actually listening now a lot of people you know, talk talk they hear me think I'm Oh, great, he's listening to himself talk to himself. Well, that's kind of a third-person reality. And it's like, no, I, I look at something with the knowledge that I've gained from the manual of life, the Word. I have uh, gotten to um, experience more from that little voice within that talks to us all. You know, I look at Islam like, well, that's great for the guys. Well, what about the women who want to die and experience these earthly pleasures in in heaven or wherever they ascend to? You know, there's no place there for women because, well, <laughs> women to experience <clears throat> 72 men virgins? Oh. Great, something to look forward to. 72 men that don't know how to please a woman. Rad. Saying, you know, you're going to go to heaven, you're going to have all the gold that you want. Great, so gold's going to be as plentiful as aluminum. So, then aluminum's going to cost more. I, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. You know, there's a theory out there that 
uh, Jesus really wasn't crucified. He was just hung on the cross for, you know, six to nine hours, and then he was taken down because he was dead. They gave him a thing of uh, <clears throat> vinegar and something, and apparently passed away. Well, there's a theory out there that just knocked him out, and he was taken down and put in the cave, and when they went in the cave, they took in aloe and uh, uh, frankincense and myrrh stuff. And, well, those are kind of more healing than anything. So, you know, when he comes out three days later and shows Thomas and all these guys his wounds, you know, I haven't read all this in the Bible yet, so I'm not there yet. I'm only on Job, okay? Give me a break. Whew, wow, we man. Okay, so, um, and then he disappears. Well, you know, okay, so he disappears, and he's been gone for a lot of his youth, you know. I mean, how cool would it be to be Jesus and go out on a trading caravan and go explore the Middle East, and or mid uh, east, far east, sorry. Explore the far east and find out why they live the way they do and blah, 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 and go visit the monks and hear some wisdom and then, well, come back and they say, well, okay, this is this is my plot in mankind is to is to go out and, and be the emulation of, of man and, and get crucified on the cross and uh, die for mankind and supposedly ascend to heaven. Okay, so he goes into this thing, he's been in this cave that for three days, and, he, and they go in and he's apparently gone. <clears throat> his, his shroud and stuff is all folded up. You know, monks like to fold stuff up like that. So, if he, comes, if he escapes and goes to the Far East, well, he can't find out, nobody can find out who he is. Well, there's this theory of this guy in Kashmir who uh, was the, uh, they think he was Jesus because he had the little scars on the feet and on the hands. Uh-huh. So, I don't think this story really matters in the basis of Christianity. I think it just strengthens the fact that... <laughs> We are all children of God, and we should all try to emulate Jesus because he was the man to follow. He was he was doing the right thing, and that's what we need to try to do is try to be the right person in this life and do the right thing and, uh, you know, it's real simple. You know, you can choose to. Do the right thing or choose to do the wrong thing. Well, that 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 Bible thing is a kind of a manual how to do the right thing and the wrong thing. It tells you the history and how man has become tainted with uh, seeing the power, which is the one of the. I think uh, one of the things that drives men to evil and money being the root of all evil, it's power of greed that drives them there. Even look at today's media. Look at all the all the rich people that have been putting up. Uh, oh, rich people, power, greed. Oh, they're evil. Uh-huh. They are. It's, uh, you know, once you understand that God speaks to us all through our mind, the devil speaks to us too. But it's that manual, that little book that we have to read to be able to understand the right way to walk and the wrong way to walk and see why throughout the Old Testament it tells why all these things happened in retaliation how they 
weren't following the path, but God allowed certain people, meaning that God allowed their strengths and their alliances to bond stronger with Christianity and knock some of us down. The meek will inherit the earth, right? Well, <clears throat> do you inquire to be meek or do you inquire to be wealthy? You know, that's the deep down question. I think we all acquire to be wealthy and self-sustainable, but where do we draw the line?